Hi, this is our uh, Sprinter 4x4 um, 2015. We thought uh, after all this time we should do a, a room tour or a, a tour of the inside. So um, here, here it is. So basically, got two front seats um, just swivel round. Um, automatic. Speed box, only five speed automatic in the um, 4x4. Change the radio to a touch screen one there. Above the cab, there's this handy little area, but it should fold up like so, but once it's folded up, you can't use it, so we just leave it down and have utilized the space for some storage boxes. We put uh, our outside coats and things in there when we're away. Uh, chairs, folding table and some um, beach mats and a trusty broom. Uh, cupboards, so we went for the, we ordered this um, to be built for us so we ordered the colour scheme and everything so we got the red or the burgundy and the silver uh, as an optional extra. Put a couple of extra um, 12 volt points in there. It's lovely um, texture to the ceiling. It's very spongy and thermal um, property insulation up there. We've got a small roof vent. Go into the kitchen. Again, we've got the burgundy drawers. All that pieces in. Food and things in that one. When we go away, and we've got the sink and a free burner gas hob. Now, the gas hob is the only thing that actually works on gas, everything else, hot water, um, heating, etc., is all done by the diesel heating and diesel hot water. The fridge is 12 volt only, it works fantastically. Got a 100 watt solar pan panel on the roof and a 240 volt um, battery which we changed from the 150 flat it was because it didn't um, didn't uh, keep things going off grid very well. We've got an inverter which is in the garage area which I'll show you afterwards but it means that we've got a 240 power point there without being plugged in. This can have shelves in uh, or it could be used as a wardrobe. Uh, we just use it as a wardrobe. Well, the wife does. Uh, and the tamper glue. Got these, this drawer system here. They're quite big drawers, but this unit can actually be taken out. And um, so you've got a long, you know, if you wanted to know, take skis or something in, like a surfboard or something which needed to be long. Uh, Longer access, you can take this unit out. We've got a bijou double bed, uh, works well for us. A standard sprinter um, wouldn't allow you to sleep transversely because the walls had obviously come like this. This had uh, the, the two pods on the outside put on to give you extra length or width but length in the bed. Uh, cupboards here. I've got a lovely oops, sunroof. There, stargazing at night. Underneath the mattress, which is a cold foam, uh, cold foam mattress, we've got this Froley bed system. And when I said this comes out, um, if, if need be, the actual bed, these look there, some, some hinges. The bed can be tilted up and locked into, into here, like that. So you could take, um, you know, if you needed to go down to builders merchants or something to pick some something big up, you can use it as a, a van as well. Two windows in the back. Again, it's still this foam, lovely dense foam all the way around, cushion foam. Bathroom, got these two doors for privacy and a shower 
curtain that goes around on the rail when you take a shower, the sink, um, electric flush toilet, um, about it in there really. Cupboard up there, cupboard underneath the sink there, so that works well. The um, extra passenger seats with seat belts and you can under here there's a bar so you can just push the seat and recline it push it back underneath the seats is the water tank fresh water tank meaning that the wastewater is actually external underneath the van the table swivels around i have adjusted the table um, made a few alterations for it to do that so in the back got a little storage up there that's where we keep or say this an umbrella fishing rod any any pole any thin, um long and thin room gas locker gas bottle is huge seeing it's just the uh, hob that we have um, using gas but uh, we picked that up in France about five years ago and we're still waiting for it to run out. Got a external shower and just bits and pieces in, in there. There's our inverter 1800 watt and storage space two folding Bromptons and if you can see behind there's a cupboard there another cupboard down there this is the back of that unit that I said you can take out if you want. Um, got our bits and pieces in there, tools, uh, electric lead, um, bar, uh, outside cooking stove. Got a mat here that we use underneath the awning if we, if we set the awning up just as like a ground mat. And behind there is the boiler and the battery. These are the pods which allow an extra width for sleeping at night time. Uh, the previous model before we bought this one, we were the first ones to have one on one smaller one on either side or two smaller ones. The previous model had um, one huge one on this side, probably stuck out to about here. Did look a bit horrendous really. So when they offered us um, choice of having two slimmer ones, one on either side, we jumped at the chance. This is the exhaust for the diesel heating uh, hookup, which we don't really use. Outside gas barbecue point, we don't really use. Uh, it'd been better if it had been a shower. Got a SOG system on the toilet, which is um, like brilliant. No need for chemicals. Uh, and theoretically, if you were in the middle of nowhere, um, overlanding you could basically just um, bury the contents um, because there's no chemicals in it. Uh, fresh water, the wastewater tank is underneath. Uh, diesel goes in there and around to the cab again. If we'd gone went for a quite basic we could have had all the additional buttons and things on on here but um wanting to keep it fairly basic and straightforward less electronics better really and that is about it really so that's a tour of camper castaways four by four sprinter um and hashtag van life four by four as well show you these two x two well say external covers you can only open them from the outside when the sliding door is open we just keep our shoes in there um, take shoes off before we go in the van and pop them in there uh, the other thing I've just recently done it was it was getting cold in the cab 
there was no heating outlet in the in the cab area so on the chilly nights it would get a bit colder in there there was a, a vent here and there's a vent over there but it wasn't powerful enough to get through to the cab so my mission uh, during lockdown was to extend it so i've just put a t-piece in there and brought it round. and for the time being it's not quite finished it might be able to i might be able to cut this shorter but for the time being i've just left it as it is uh, a bit of work in progress if i can cut it shorter and make it tidier then that's what i'll do but i don't want to cut it off and um find it was still not uh not good enough just another, another thing as well got a curtain for a dressing area here we've got this little door and curtain to come around so if you want some privacy while you getting out of the shower, getting dressed, you can uh, just slide that across. Okay, that's, that's us done for. Okay, bye now.